So let's now go into blocking the engine. Oh, there's just so many things we can make it look like. Um, if in doubt and you're just struggling what to do, you just Google anything. Google images of stuff. Um, Sci-fi engines. <sighs> Question is, how are we going to do? So I'm just going to duplicate this face. I'm going to scale, extrude. Let's bring that in. What I will do is I'm going to do Control L and P and separate by selection. So now we've only dealing with this piece. I'm not really going to be affecting that piece. I'm going to select this, press I, and let's go extrude that back in. Now, what are we going to do about the outside? I'm going to do control that, control B, select a little bit, size Y zero. So now we've kind of got this inset. Let's do I to do an inset, but I want to do inset on every face. So I'm going to, every face that I've got selected. So I'm going to press I again. And let's do extrude. And so now we've kind of got that. I'm going to add in a material. So I'm going to add one material slot and then a second material slot. And I'm going to just make an engine glow. And I'm just going to do a standard pretty blue glow. I'm going to change the surface to emission. And if you don't have that option, just select cycles render up here rather than blender render, blender render. Important thing is here is I'm going to click assign. It's going to pump this up to five. And as well, just so we know what's engine glowed, I'm going to select the viewport color eyedropper and I'm just going to make that blue as well. So now I know that that is the engine color. All right. So next thing, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? I would like to, I think what I would like to do is let's go back into edit mode. I'm going to select all these. See, that's, I'm going to, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to select these two, shift D, I. Uh, let's move this one up a little bit. So this is what we're editing. I, and we're just going to bring that uh, kind of in a little bit. I'm going to delete that edge loop. So now I've got this, control L. Now, I'm going to select this middle one. I'm going to press B, control B to make a bevel. Uh, I think that's too much. Control B, just a little bit. I would like to go side view and I'm just going to move this a little bit. What are we looking at? Probably about there, I would say. That looks quite nice. And so I'm kind of just making some sort of support structure, maybe. We can go with that. I'm going to do a control L. And I'm going to extrude and Z down. Not all the way, though. I don't think I need to go all the way. Control L to select everything. Uh, linked. Control N to flip that normals. So now what we want to do is I want to rotate. Whoops. If I do control numpad one, it'll go to the back view. So what I want to do is I want to get this, <coughs> excuse me. And I'm going to, I want to spin it around the whole engine. So the way I'm going to do it is I need to get to the center. I'm going to do shift S uh, cursor to selected. So now this cursor, is the center of this circle. And that's what we want to go around. So I'm going to use the pivot and I'm going to use the pivot as the 3D cursor. So now if I do control L, shift D, rotate 180, 180. 
Let's do that again. Shift D, rotate 90. And let's select these four. Shift D, rotate 30. Shift D, rotate 30. And so now we've kind of got these support panels, I guess. What I will do is I'm going to select them all. Control L, you're a jerk. Okay, let's get rid of that one. That one. Oh, jeez. Chase little Louise. Control L. Still one there that I miss selected. Another one. Come on. Good, 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 good. I'm just going to add another material. Assign new. Let's go. Um, engine support. I'm going to make this a bit of a darker gray and we'll match that just so we can kind of got a visual thing. Let's add in a bevel. We want to change that to angle we want to smooth it looks yucky but something that I recently discovered if you go into what is that object data and go auto smooth kind of cleans it up a lot all right this is too smooth for my liking so what can we do to add a little bit of roughness to it um, poor. let us, I'm going to do uh, control R to add some edge loops, select these, control B, mm, control B, let's make that a little bit wider, I'm going to E, size, and because I still got the center selected, I'm going to size and shift Y, and that's going to cancel the wire size. There we go. Did that come in? No. And so that's just get, giving it a little bit extra grunt. Now, what are we going to do? I don't like the look of this bit here. Do I move it back along the Y axis? Size shift Y. And what do we do with these? So I do like the look of this. I think, I reckon that looks quite nice. Now we rotated it by 30 degrees. So I need to go into rear view, shift D, rotate by 15 degrees. And now we're at the center of that. Right, so I'm going to scale. It's not going to be really good to me, is it? Scale Z. I think maybe that's what we'll do. So I've put it back there and scaled it on the Z axis. Scale it on the Y axis. That's not really going to work too well. I'm going to deselect these. Scale on the Z. So we've kind of got this different shape happening. <coughs> Excuse me. Move it back. All right. Now let's see what happens. Maybe, maybe we'll bring it out as well. Okay. Rotate 15. How's that looking? Hmm. Come on. Maybe what we need to do is bring that in a bit so it's sitting under. Now rotate by 15. I think, let's bring that back. 
what we need to do is cut this bit in and bring it under and let's have a look how that turns out control L rotate 15 hmm ah. maybe that I think that might do it ah. <laughs> it's just all a trial trial and error it's whatever you want it to look like oops control L so really I'm just now just playing around control L G X bring that out on top maybe I think what I might need to do is select this one and select this face uh, I don't think there's enough of a curve so I'm just going to curve that out a little bit control L righty 15 think that might do it okay oh come on and I mean it's always personal preference there we go I think that'll do shifty rotate what are you doing 180 shifty rotate 90 shifty rotate 30 shifty rotate 30 and so now we've kind of got these kind of cool looking panels um, wasn't that much effort <laughs> do I like it? I think I do uh, what are we going to do about the inside here? Shift D. Um, let's get out of that. I'm going to scale this. Press I. Let's scale that in. Hmm. I. I. All right. So what we're going to do here. I'm going to do control L and let's get rid of these two, these two, these two, and these two. I want to get rid of that. Wait, no, that's what I want. No, it's not. No, that's what I want. So I can't press control. Control I will select everything. Anyway, let's just redo that. Control L. Okay. So these are all the pieces that I want. And so what I'm actually building at the moment is kind of like an engine glow. Delete faces. And now I'm going to select all these. Not you. Not you. Control L. I'm going to assign engine glow. Assign. I'm just going to push that back. And now just for giggles. Let's see what that looks like. Rotate on the Z. G. Rotate on the Z. G, Y. Just bring the camera in a little bit. Rotate X on the normal. If I just press F12 quickly. And then we have it without really doing much because you remember that we put in those little glows G oops G X rotate Z if I do F12 we'll see all those little glows in there 
But yeah, without even doing much really, we've we've achieved that. Let's let's just do this real quick. I'm going to do Control R and Control R. What are we going to do? I think what we'll do is we'll come down into the pivot point, the individual origins. I'm going to double tap I to get each of those faces. Extrude. And I'm going to extrude in or extrude. I'm going to extrude in, I'll say. And so now we've kind of got this. F12. That doesn't look too bad. Pretty happy with that. Let's bring that around. Z. F12. And we're going to have a nice cool glow coming out of the inside there. I think we can do still do a lot more to the engine, but let's just leave it there.